booktube here's a, another book tag video this one is from Dave at Wild Reads it's the first adult book tag and let's just jump right into it so number one what was your first adult book what was your first adult book called and who wrote it and can you even remember and I can remember uh, it was the diary of Anais Nin the diaries of Anais Nin which was obviously written by Anais Nin um, it was, uh, and I was probably, this is me like about 17, where I'd read, re, you know, childhood, read, re, read a lot of, uh, you know, the, the, all the kids, the children's classics and, uh, had read, read, uh, kind of, you know, went into kind of comic books and then science fiction and fantasy. But this was my first, um, very conscious effort to actually, you know, I'm, I'm going to start reading adult what I considered adult books. I mean, there was definitely some of the science fiction and fantasy was actually adult, but this was my first first effort in going into saying, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start reading independently, read read kind of adult uh, literature and stuff like that. So I went down to the library. Well, actually, here number two. Let's go. Let's follow those questions. Number two. What made you choose this book? I went down to the library, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna find you know, adult books to read. I'm going to read something, you know, that's not, not kid stuff or not genre, I guess, or what I considered. And so I went down to the library and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. And I just at random or whatever, this, for some reason that the di these diaries from this woman, um, that appealed to me. Um, so, you know, I, that I pulled it out, I pulled it out of the stack. So what genre is it in? It's um, a diary, a diary, journal, uh, very much um, memoir. It's, it's memoir of the time. Uh, Anais Nin was born in 1903. She was uh, French-born from Cuban parents, sort of grew up in the States, but uh, had, uh, and a lot of, a lot of her, at least the diaries that I, I read were um, from sort of a lot of her times in Paris and then moving back into, uh, into New York and stuff like that. Um, and um, so that's yeah, it's the it's the diary, the that 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 kind of that kind of uh, that kind of a genre. Um, so do I still read in that genre now? I can't say I read a, like a ton of diaries or uh, stuff like that. There's the odd thing, Christopher Isherwood's um, diaries. I, re I read I've read the, I've read those at least the first the first big volume is like quite amazing. Um, and there's a book called The Assassin's Cloak, which is a whole collection of like, of like a ton of people's, uh, journals and diaries, um, organized into actual entries from each day of making, making up what, you know, taking, uh, something from them, you know, on January the 1st from one person and then someone from January the 2nd, or, you know, having a collection of all the January the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and making this big, wonderful book, um, thing. So yeah, so I, I, there's, I dip into it every once in a while. Um, so number five, well, number six, he sort of seems to skip over one, uh, is the book still in print? Um, I'm not quite sure if the, uh, this is, so when Anais Nin was publishing these journals, she'd been, she'd been writing, uh, she'd been writing her diary since she was 11 years old. Um, she, uh, she the ones she published in her lifetime were expurgated. You know, they pulled out, she pulled out a lot of stuff about her husband, a lot of stuff about affairs with um, other men that she'd had. Um, There's also stuff about her incestuous and abuse, sexually abusive relationship with her father. Um, things that weren't, that didn't get exposed uh, in her, in her lifetime. Um, so there's, there's actually now a, uh, a, a more a unexpurgated uh, version of this book, uh, Henry and June, I think, is the what the volume that I probably the there's some like some 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 like that that I think are the ones that are actually in print now. I'm not quite sure if the expurgated ones are, though. I'm sure I could find them probably secondhand in a bookstore. I don't actually have I do I don't actually have the book right the books now. I I'm been very ruthless about getting kind of getting rid of all getting rid of my books as I read them though. Some stuff I, I still hold on to. Um, did you go on to read anything else from the same author? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I read, obviously, I read a bunch of her, uh, her uh, of, of the diaries, though they, I think after a while, just sort of how 
intensely internal they were and involuted. Uh, she is very much into uh, psychoanalysis uh, and stuff like that. And it, it got so internal and so, I don't know, some of the psych psychoanalyst uh, stuff can get so gobbledygooky that um, after a point I sort of drifted away from that. Um, but she also uh, had a couple of volumes of her erotica that were published uh, posthumously, uh, The uh, Delta of Venus and Little Birds, which, which I think if I remember, Little Birds might be actually referring to little girls, so that was slightly creepy, but that might be because I was a guy reading erotica that was actually intended for women. So, but, you know, big fan of a nice nin, so I gave it a try. Um, have I read reread the book since? It's like no, actually, I haven't. I haven't gone back to them. I, uh, I as I said, I sort of, I kind of, I felt like I re read my way through them. It would be interesting to maybe get the unexpurgated one and uh, read that because there is that sort of thing of it's almost like an edited movie where an edited movie can be more disturbing than an uh, a movie that they let they leave in all the sex and violence because you're you're trying to str you're struggling to make kind of make sense of it all. So it might be actually worth going back and 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 uh, taking a look at her unexpurgated versions, where uh, some of the, uh, the the hidden the hidden gaps, the big j emotional jumps, um, and her husband are sort of re included back in. Um, did you like the book then, and uh, do you like it now? As I said, I hadn't hadn't read hadn't read it then. I think at the time, yeah, I I really did. It was it was, I think it was a part of this sort of like I'm going to get into different people's heads and really this is like you know a woman in the third you know especially since i was reading kind of 30s and 40s this is getting into a very kind of intimate headspace of this woman in the in the 30s and the 40s um that was still fairly quite frank at the time um and um i'm going to add my own question because i i do think he he sort of it, it, it went from four to six in his thing so i'm going to add my own question to get me uh get get a full 10 questions out of here it's uh um where did the book lead you because i i find like you know the best books you you use them to kind of as a ladder to pull yourself up into into um into reading uh, especially as a young when i was a, as a young reader there i was look i was hungry looking for other people to read so um, she knew a lot of a lot of literary figures. Uh, one of them was most probably the most notable one, one that's been made into a movie, Henry and June, uh, was Henry Miller. And uh, so I ended up picking up picking up some of his books, and indeed I still have some of them. Tropic of Tropic of Capricorn. I think I've got the other ones, the Ca Tropic of Cancer, on uh, the Colossus of Marusi, his time in his time in Greece. Uh, another another author who was very uh, autobiographical though he's much more uh, he fictionalized a lot more uh, so I guess he didn't have to expurgate um I haven't actually read these in a long time I love these when I was a young man uh and there's definitely kind of full of young gum and full of um ejaculate um so uh, I'd be interesting to go back and read these and see just how horribly uh retrobate they are now but uh I, I might at some point do that as well. That's the thing about you can go back and you kind of clutch your head about, oh, you know, but that's, you know, that was me at that time. And obviously I, I would have, I would have liked that. So yeah, that's, it sort of led me, it led me into Henry Miller, had led me into Lawrence Durrell, another friend of, a friend of uh, both of theirs. Um, and just sort of kind of got me in, got me into literature in a very kind of organic self, self-taught way uh even though you know i also went off to went off to you know higher higher education school and, and got introduced to lots of other literature there's there's something about that finding the stuff for yourself and then exploring yourself um which uh puts puts makes makes stuff kind of special to you and and it makes it a part of you versus something that uh, has been set to you by a teacher even though that is also a very valuable thing so yeah and the final question is, who do you tag? And, well, I, I tag, I tag, I tag all the uh, the the lovely people who've uh, actually uh, given me given me comments in, in my uh, in the uh, in in my in my uh, my videos so far. The lovely the lovely I think two of you. Um, of course, now I can't even remember your names. 
Martha and Dane. Ah, Dan. Ah, I'm, I apologize. But you guys, you guys, I, I tag you. And if you if that's something that interests you and I tag whoever else happens to watch the video. So yeah, that's that's my, uh, those are my tags. I'm, I'm blushing because I didn't prepare that part and I feel, feel terrible. I don't remember names. All right. Well, yes, more videos later.